I guess let's start from the beginning, signing with day one. Like, how did it come about? How did Derek discover you or vice versa? Oh, in college, like the normal way. So in college, um, just met him uh, through the process of finding an agent. They have like the NFL, I mean, college has like NFL certified agents that can come you know, talk to you and stuff like that. You know, I met him and then, you know, he was cool and I liked what he did and I liked the contracts that he did at the time. And we hit it off. And he was, he was with, uh, with Cash Money at the time. So I thought that was always cool when I was younger. And uh, so that's how it happened. Yeah, and then uh, definitely negotiated some contracts along the way. Um, starting back in, with this contract, it really began in preseason, August 2023, when that deadline was set. What was the intention of setting that deadline for you? Um, uh, just to, for them to, to make a decision. Are they gonna, they wanna, you know, extend me now? And if not, then, you know, we'll just play the season out and then, you know, see, you know, what happens at the end of the season. So that's just all it was. And then when it didn't occur, like what, what was your thought process? It was, it was kind of expected. It was expected because it was a short amount of time when we set the deadline. And I, I wanted to focus, I kept telling Derek and Darren that I wanted to focus on playing ball. Because um, I'm already under contract. You know, I had no choice. I had to play and I had to like have my mind clear. Had a very good season, second team all pro, uh, made it all the way to uh, the NFL playoffs. And then once the season ends, is it all business from that point forward? You're like, okay, we got to get this contract done and I want to get it done with the Bucks. Well, Jason had reached out and Derek, they've been talking, you know, throughout the year and as soon as the season was over. So I didn't even have time to just sit back and relax or anything and think about it. You know, Derek said, yo, they want to get a, a deal done. So they, they, the Bucks cap issue wasn't a problem anymore. And, you know, they were excited to try to get this done as soon as possible. And what, what was like the most important thing that you were looking for? Was it like security financially? Was it like family? Uh, I mean, the money is one thing. I mean, obviously I want some money. I, would, I wasn't looking to be the highest paid player in the league or anything like that, or the highest paid receiver in the league. But I definitely wanted a good guarantee, you know, out of it. A good guarantee. Um, I wanted to make sure we had Baker back. Yeah, um, but, you know, I've, I've been here 10 years and I don't see myself going anywhere else. So. You know, I signed even before, you know, knowing what the outcome of his situation would be. And then why, why two years? My first, my first deal was six years. So it was a five-year extension. And so I did six total years of that, and I played that whole thing out. Uh, so a two-year deal would probably be best. And then, you know, how I'm feeling after that. If I'm still feeling great, playing at a high level, then I'll probably do a one- or two-year deal again after that. So nothing longer than two years. I don't, I don't think it will be best for an older player to do that. And... There were reports coming out saying Mike's, okay, it looks like he's going to be entering free agency, and I'm sure the market was going to be pretty big for you. Yep. Um, was there any indication at all inside your head, like, hey, I actually want to pursue this, or has it always been bucks? No, I told yeah. Derek that I wanted to hit free agency. I told my agent that I wanted to hit free agency um, just to, you know, see what was out there. You know, and uh, but I always the Bucks were number one the whole time. So after I thought about it, it didn't make sense. You know, if I wanted to go to the Bucks, they're offering me everything that I wanted. And then you know, me and my wife, you know, we came to the decision like we should stay in Tampa. Yeah, very successful career in Tampa, so it makes sense to keep staying here. Uh, Ten straight thousand yard seasons. Do you know how many quarterbacks you've played with? I caught a pass from. Did you caught a pass? I've caught a pass from uh, Josh McCown, Mike Glennon, Jameis Winston, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tom Brady, Blaine Gabbert, and Baker Mayfield. You nailed it. I'm surprised so, you, you seven, 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 yeah. and ten years. I'm surprised well, you got Blaine. Well, well, Blaine was only um, when he played together for a half, but that was a great half. He threw the ball a lot. Yes. So shout out to Blaine. He threw me a touchdown and everything. Tom threw me a touchdown before that, too, before the half. We were blowing out the Detroit Lions. And then he came in. So and why he, didn't he you perfect sit passer rating. Uh, I was trying to chase the 1,000 yards. Yeah, so I was trying to get that. And then we were just – I had to sit after a while. We were, we were up like 40 points. So I sat after that. <laughs> it, was, it was only three passes that he completed to you. So I'm surprised you got Blaine. I, it, was, it was only three? It was only three that he completed to you. It was a stopper. It was a post corner. I scored a touchdown on. 
and it was another stopper. Okay, so it's probably like 50, 60 yards in. I, I think there was one that was like called back for a penalty, but yeah, it was, okay. it was three in, in the stat sheet. I'm surprised you picked that up. Um, when people look at the greatest receivers amongst like certain franchises, they point to like Larry Fitzgerald, like someone that's like extremely loyal. In today's game, that's like Keenan Allen with, with mm -hmm. the LA Chargers. Now it's you with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What does it say about your career to be so loyal to one organization? I mean, well, they've been loyal to me, and the fan base has been, you know, great to me and my family. So, you know, it's a, it's a match made in heaven. So it's something that it's no point for, for me to leave. You know, I've had success, um, no matter the quarterback. Uh, the fans have been great to me through my ups and my downs. So it didn't make no sense to leave. Would you say the next stop is Canton? Uh, you know, that's what I'm working towards. You know, I, I pray about it all the time. Um, it's definitely something that I want to accomplish. You know, even though it's something that the writers, you know, they, they choose, but it's something that every NFL player, like, wants to, to make. Like, that's the elite of the elite. And the history of the game means a lot to me. Who would you have to um, credit, like, as far as, like, a teammate goes, um, or, or a family member or coach, um, like looking back at this moment right now, signing a $52 million deal, you look back and you're like, man, they had a huge impact in my life. The list is too long, but I'll definitely name out some names. Obviously my wife, my mom, my mentor, Terry Petaway, uh, Levante David, Vincent Jackson, Chris Gowan, Gerald McCoy, Josh McCown, uh, Jameis Winston. There's so many you know, great guys that I've played with, uh, so many great people in my life. Uh, my kids, extra motivation just that they give me. Uh, my oldest daughter, Mackenzie, Araya, Amari, Aaliyah, you know, all my children. So just everybody that, it's, it's, the list goes on and on, but those are definitely some people that without them, it would be you know, hard for me to, to make it and keep going. And then to sum it up, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? A solid one, a solid legacy. You know, won some games, you know, won some big time games, uh, broke records, you know, made some good coin, you know, took care of his family, you know, helped out in the community. So, nice. you know, that's the legacy I want. And uh, I'm doing a solid job so far. Can't go wrong with that. Mike, appreciate yeah, your time. Appreciate your son.